It is time for me to try out Hackintosh. I've actually already tried it before, I'm just gonna reinstall it now. This is a pre-hacked version of Snow Leopard 10.6.3 called iAtcos S3. I just burned it to a DVD and booted from it and here it is, so let's begin installing it. Instead of the license agreement, we get this README file. Well, I've already taken a look at it. It's like instructions or something. And I've kind of messed up the partition table of the hard drive, which is why I'm reinstalling it now. So we go to Utilities, Disk Utility. But I'm not going to install just Mac OS X. I'm also going to install on a second partition, Windows XP. I'm gonna call this boot camp even if it really isn't. So apply. Oh, before actually partitioning this one, even though this computer uses just master boot record, we have to select GUID partition table. And after installing, we'll have to install a special bootloader to make Mac OS X bootable on, on computers that do not support DFI. Warning, this disk appears to be set up for boot camp. Well, it isn't obviously, but I did try a dual boot setup, which failed, so this is why I'm trying again. And there you go, it's done formatting. Now we can quit disk utility and begin the installation. But before clicking the install button, we have to click customize. And this is where it's different from our regular macOS installer. It has options for various Hackintosh things. For example, this bootloader. But we're not gonna use this one, we're gonna use Chameleon. RC5. I don't really know why, but it's the one that works the best. Even though Windows is gonna write over it, we'll need graphics enabler for the video driver. And we don't need 32 bit because this has a 64 bit processor. Ethernet, I think I do have to enable that. Yes, we want the extra directory. Fake SMC, I think we need that. Modified kernels, no, we don't need those. Evo reboot, sleep enabler. That actually makes the Mac OS crash when you update, so we won't select that. And then drivers. We need the AHCI SATA driver. No sound, because again, it makes the computer crash after updating, so we'll install that later. PS2, yes, otherwise the keyboard and mouse won't work. Battery, even though it won't work. NTFS 3G, we could install that later, actually. ATI, I think we need the EVO enabler, but I'm gonna install that manually too. Or why not, let's install it now, because it didn't make the computer crash after updating. Network, it doesn't support the Intel wireless it has, but it does support the wired version, gigabit. And language translations, let's just install Italian. There you go. Now if I've done something wrong, I'll have to boot back to this installer and try again. It's done installing and rebooted, but I turned it off before it began loading the operating system. I plugged in the Ethernet cable and ejected the install DVD, so let's see if it starts up for the first time. We'll just do once dash V to see if it gets stuck anywhere. You don't have to do this all the time. And here it is. No welcome video or welcome music because the drivers are not installed yet, but I can tell you that instead of the usual Mac OS X Leopard and Snow Leopard welcome music, which is an edited version of a song called Exodus Honey by Honeycut, it has a, a cover of Staying Alive. Can tell by the way I 
Enjoy using your Apple computer and Mac OS X. IBM is basically the opposite of Apple, but let's go. And here it is, boot it up. Before installing all the drivers, we have to install the system updates. So we'll go to the Apple menu, software update, and we'll see if it's connected to the internet. Well, I could have checked in the system preferences. Yup, it's connected. I'm gonna have to upgrade it to 10.6.8 and a few other updates. Then I'll see if the video driver works and other drivers too. And then we can try the second operating system in this computer. And as I said earlier, Mac OS X does not support the Wi-Fi in this computer. So I use my little USB Wi-Fi adapter, which does have drivers for Mac OS X Snow Leopard. And now it's time for an unfair comparison. I decided to compare this computer with the cheapest new computer we have in the house, and that is our HP Stream 13, which I already did a video about. Now I don't really have much room in this desk, but 
this HP stream is a bit wider but it's quite shorter this one has a 13 inch 16 by 9 aspect ratio screen while this one as I said in part 1 has a 14 inch 4 by 3 aspect ratio screen Obviously the X-series models like the X60 are much more compact than this, but this is not a big laptop at all. And although it has nothing to do with this computer, a funny thing that happened to this HP stream recently is that my sister spilled an entire glass of juice on the keyboard. We turned off the computer and I took it apart. I took off the this top part which comes off with the keyboard and trackpad all together and it wasn't very wet inside but the keyboard was almost completely ruined it was very sticky so I took off almost all the keys the ones that were very sticky and I cleaned them up now they're not sticky anymore but I screwed up some keys the space bar although it's not stuck anymore, has lost its tactile feedback and I tried for hours to put the key in properly but even though it still presses, it's lost its tactile feedback. And also I broke the plastic things that keeps the end and upper arrow keys so I cannot put those together anymore. They, they do stay on there but they're not attached so whatever. This computer was my brother's but now it's used by pretty much everyone in the house. But it did survive. I don't want to turn it on but I'll just put it at the BIOS setup or the startup menu thing. Yeah, it still works just fine. But we were quite scared because a lot of liquid was spilled on it. And it's not like regular water that you can just dry up even though it can cause corrosion. Juice is sticky and does not go away as easily as water. And this computer just finished installing all updates and shut down. Now I'm gonna let it cool down for a little bit. Then I'll turn it back on and see if there are still updates to install.